Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel I'd like to provide you with some stock analysis and a short trading lesson at the end, so please stay tuned. Okay, so a quick recap of the previous video where we talked about a market crash. Just to clarify, the market crash is not for the whole market. We're not talking about the S&P 500. What we are talking about as a market crash for the EV sector, for the clean energy sector, for the penny stocks and the techs, uh, where many of the, these uh, investments have gone down well in excess of 50%, certainly from February right down to May. So those uh, have gone down, as they have gone down in excess of 50%, many of them, Tesla has gone down uh, close to 30%. Uh, a market correction is where it goes down between 10 to 15%. So we cannot call it a market correction. So for these sectors, specific sectors, uh, I'm, I'm, I, would, I would like to say that that's what they, these were described as a market crash and I think uh, at the moment I don't think it's over I do think we're close to the bottom and I'm also in the previous video I did make a prediction in terms of June being the first month of uh, recovery okay so today's stock analysis is for uh, a stock that has been featured previously on this channel Lukong Technology ticker symbol LKCO so this is uh, specifically brought to you for in, with regard to two uh, specific comments that I've received. First one, uh, I want to give a shout out to Lee Min. And Lee has said uh, in his uh, comment, thank you for the video, Ali. I bought LKCO at $2.31 three months ago. I thought this stock price would go double at least after the preliminary injunction, but actually it went down. I think your prediction of LKCO are pretty close and correct. Uh, would you give me long-term prediction of LKCO uh, like one year or two year? Also, how soon do you think the stock could reach two dollars or three dollars? If you have charged any, if you have any charge service for stock predictions, please let me know. Thank you. So that's the first uh, uh, shout out I'd like to give. Uh, and now let's have a look at the second one. Okay, so the second shout out is to uh, Facts Unknown for you. This was uh, uh, a comment that was left on my previous uh, video for tick symbol LKCO. So please refer back to that previous most recent video for LKCO. So this was in the comments section. So I'll just summarize uh, the, the, the statements made here. So he says, uh, you're telling people not to buy right now and wait until it falls back to $1.20. Are you kidding? Question mark. Not a good recommendation in my opinion. This is what Facts Unknown Forge you has said. Uh, when it falls back to $1.20, we will be losing our upward trend and will disappoint many new investors into selling and never looking back. So first of all, I don't control the market. Uh, it's not as though I'm in charge of these prices. I did make a recommendation, so we're going to delve in that, into that a little bit deeper shortly. But let's continue with what uh, Facts Unknown Ford you said. He says, buying shares under 170 is a steal in my opinion. I'd recommend entering at $1.40 and $1.50. So he did disagree with my recommendation of $1.20 at least because we could fly sky high any minute just uh, like you mentioned to me in the comments so i think this is a good example of some uh, many investors who uh, may be a little bit clouded by judgment because they have um, extreme belief in the stock uh, they don't understand all, all the market conditions that can have uh, an effect and also the, the the market right now so let's have a look at my response so I did re respond uh, a day later and I said it did hit $1.28, very close to my prediction. Market conditions are very difficult at the moment. Many techs are being hit badly, including Tesla. However, I also said on a positive note, once the, uh, this is over, the long-term holders of LKCO have nothing to uh, worry about. So that's, that's the positive feedback I gave. So he did reply and he said, Sadly, I had to sell during pre-market conditions because the downfall was obvious. So I think he did realise there that, you know, the, uh, the market conditions did not represent a continued bull run for this, even though uh, we did have uh, the announcement of the preliminary injunction. So uh, just to finish off, I said, good move if you buy back in cheaper, but the market is very unpredictable at the moment. So what I'd like to do now is just have a look at the chart. Okay, so in terms of my previous video, if you have a look at this chart here, uh, if you look at the 6th of May, 6th of May, the closing price here for ticker symbol LKCO was $1.68. Now, if you look at the momentum from 20th of April all the way to the 6th of May, you can see it is a quite significant bull run. 
where you know tick symbol LKCO at one point on 20th of April it did kind of just touch just uh, below one dollar the momentum was very positive the news was very good and um, uh, on the 6th of May it reached a, a price of one dollar 68 so it was at this price of one dollar 68 where where I made a recommendation to buy and enter this stock at a price of $1.20. So this is where I had the feedback to say, no, I disagree with that. People should be entering at $1.40. So, um, however, as you can see from the comments, the price did come down. Uh, so after this bull run, it did come down right now. Um, at close of play on, on the 14th of May, we can see it's got, it came very close to my prediction in terms of uh, $1.20, closed at $1.21. So it, there was a bit of a decline. 11th of May, 12th of May, a little bit of consolidation. And then on Friday, we had a 3.42% um, momentum upwards, closing at $1.21. So if anybody did catch this at $1.20, I do still do think that is a good entry point. Okay, so in terms of the comment left by Lee, I will uh, come back to your um, uh, feedback there, Lee, and I will give a prediction for the future for this stock shortly. But before we do that, I'd just like to update everybody with regard to the current news uh, regarding L ticker symbol LKCO. Okay, so the news article I'd like to share with you is uh, from PR Newswire. This is dated May the 14th, 2021. And the headline here is, Lukong announces filing of annual return on form 20F for the year, in, year ending December 31st, 2020. So the company, uh, which is a leading interactive location-based services and data processing technology company, uh, based in China, announced that the, they have filed the annual report uh, on Form 20 for the year ending December 31st, 2020. And for any investors uh, in, interested in getting into this uh, in a little bit more detail, can visit the website sec.gov and on there refer, choose the um, ticker symbol LCKO, Lukong Technology. Uh, however, if anybody's looking for a hard PDF copy, you can get that by emailing ir at luokung.com. So they should be able to send you that by email. So that's the um, update in terms of what's going on with this stock. This is um, good news in terms of them complying with the NASDAQ requirements of filing their returns in a timely manner. Uh, and as, as we can see, market conditions have been very, very difficult. So let's now move on over to my um, predictions. Okay, so if you refer to the screen here, you can see the prediction that I'm going to make here is subject to uh, the delisting threat. However, one thing that I would like to say before I go into the details of this, I think one of the reasons why a lot of people have been very bullish on this stock is that many uh, YouTubers, many analysts, uh, many predictors have stated that this stock is going to hit $50, this stock is going to get hit $100. Uh, and so on. I think they have been a little bit misleading. I don't agree with this kind of statement in terms of, you know, this is going to jump straight to $50. It's going to go uh, $100. And I think those have probably misled a few investors out there. So I'm going to be a little bit more realistic and a, a little bit more conservative from my point of view with regards to this stock. Uh, I'm not going to say it's going to hit $50 and I'm not going to say it's going to hit hundred dollars so let's have a look at my prediction here if you have a look at the screen close of play on friday this stock hit one dollar 21 i am still very bullish on this stock i think it's an excellent excellent stock going forward it is a risky stock it is a stock that is a, regarded as a penny stock so this prediction is is um, subject to the complete removal of the delisting threat so in terms of uh, the short term I'm looking at December 2021, close, close of this year. I believe this stock is going to hit close to $2.50. So um, although we're going to see a little bit of momentum upwards and downwards, I think it will probably hit um, a support price around $2.50 at December 2021. And then uh, in terms of a prediction for one year, I, I think this time next year, in my personal opinion, I think this stock could, could easily hit $4.50. So we're looking at June 2022. So in comparison to a lot of the S&P 500 uh, stocks and a lot of the uh, blue, blue chip companies, let's say, for, for example, like um, Coca-Cola, uh, Google, Facebook, etc., the, the prediction for this uh, as a percentage of return is much, much higher. However, this carries more risk. So 
Um, that's my prediction. I think uh, if we look, we, we look at an, another company that everybody expected to do very, very well in terms of uh, momentum, uh, which is ticker symbol uh, CHPT, ChargePoint. We, we had a similar situation with there. The company has a huge potential uh, in terms of the EV sector and, and charging uh, for EV vehicles. However, we have seen a huge, huge momentum downwards for that stock. Doesn't make sense. It, it, it's, it's kind of the business model is great. The business model is excellent. And we've seen it hit from uh, $40 all the way to, down to $20. So what you have to understand when, when you're dealing with the stock market, uh, it, it doesn't always go that, uh, you know, good news leads to a higher share price. So what we have seen certainly in the market is, you know, there is good news but it's not always reflected. So we had the good news with regard to LKCO and the removal of the delisting threat. What happens then is the price did go up at one point, it, it, it touched $1.70, did we see? But what happens in the market, there is generally a, a sell-off after that, the price comes down, then it settles. Uh, so we, 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 we will have this uh, continued uh, volatility. Okay, so it's now time for lesson of the day and uh, we're going to continue with our series on chart analysis. Today we're going to look at something called the symmetrical triangle. So before we actually look at the chart itself, let's have a look at the symmetrical triangle. So this is a, a pattern that's easy to spot. Uh, uh, the reason being the distinctive shape, which is developed by two trend lines which converge together. The pattern occurs by drawing trend lines which connect a series of peaks and troughs. The trend lines create a barrier. Once this barrier breaks through, uh, these are very sharp movement in price follows. So first of all, I'd like to say that this is a bullish signal. So if we have a look at the green line there, which represents the um, share price, we can see on the left, if we start at the left side of the share price, uh, there is significant movement upwards. Then we have a little bit of consolidation in terms of the uh, two trend lines. So uh, it's kind of a um, little bit like a W shape. So if you look at the gray line there, that represents the, the triangle uh, looking at the um, W shape and as we can see the triangle is generally headed uh, upwards slightly to the right and at the end, just before the end of the um, W shape the red circle there represents the breakout so uh, initially we have a good movement up in share price then we have possibly this could represent a little bit of a sell-off a little bit of consolidation however what we are not seeing is we're not seeing a sustained fall downwards which which can also happen in in different situations. However, in this situation, we have um, uh, two symmetrical lines. The triangle can be formed there, which is slightly upwards. And then just at the red circle is the breakout area. So in terms of investing, that's a good time to buy uh, uh, your um, uh, kind of placement into this share, just at the red dot. Uh, and then with, if it certainly depends on what type of company you're investing in, if it's a penny stock, after the breakout, depending on how much it goes up by, it will be a good time to take profits. So I hope that helps. Thank you very much for joining me and please stay tuned.